Hi, welcome back to my channel. This book review video is for Savvy Sheldon Feels Good as Hell. Yes, I'm in a different spot than my last book review videos because I just did a stitching chat video and since I'm already at my desk and my drafting table is right here, I figured I might as well stay here. And so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Now this book is called Savvy Sheldon Feels Good as Hell by Taj McCoy. This is a debut romantic comedy, a debut author. And let me tell you, it was an excellent, excellent read. Now, this book is about Savvy, or her name is Savannah, but they call her Savvy, and she's about to embark on something that she calls Project Upgrade. What is Project Upgrade about? Well, let's start off by reading the blurb, and then we can talk about what Project Upgrade is and why she feels it's important. Savvy Sheldon spends a lot of time, oh, I'm sorry, I should have read the first line. A delicious debut rom-com about a plus-size sweetheart who gets a full life makeover after a brutal breakup. Savvy Sheldon spends a lot of time tiptoeing around the cracks in her life, her high stress and low thanks job, her clueless boyfriend, and the falling apart kitchen she inherited from her beloved grandma, who taught her how to cook and how to love people by feeding them. But when Savvy's world starts to crash down around her, she knows it's time for some renovations. Starting from the outside in, Savvy tackles her crumbling kitchen, kitchen, her relationship with her body, her work, life balance, or lack thereof, and last but not least, her love life. The only thing that doesn't seem to require effort is her ride-or-die squad of friends. But as any home rental show junkie can tell you, something always falls apart during renovations. First, Savvy passes out during hot yoga. Then it turns out that the contractor she hires is the same sexy stranger she unintentionally offended by judge by judging based on appearances. Worst of all, Savvy can't seem to go anywhere without tripping over her ex in his latest upgrade. Savvy begins to realize that maybe she should have started her renovations the other way around, beginning with how she sees herself before building a love that lasts. Let me tell you, I love this book. Plus size heroine, I'm a plus size woman. But let's talk about Savvy. What is Project Upgrade? Revenge body, new look including changing her hair and her clothing. It doesn't say here, but going from glasses to contacts. Meal prep and finding balance. Well, why does Savvy think she needs an upgrade? Well, she had been with Jason her ex, now her ex, for six years. He tells her that he wants to bring their relationship to a close because they're incompatible. <laughs> incompatible? What are you talking about, Jason? Well, in all actuality, Savvy, <laughs> you, you've let yourself go. I, I just can't. I just can't. So that's it. So he leaves she storms off after him and she sees what she believes is a homeless guy and he asks her is she okay and she screams at him why am i even telling you about this homeless guy well in this book as we see savvy felt like she needed to make some changes triggered by a thankless job and a terrible, terrible ex-boyfriend. To factor in the fact that everywhere she went, she was running into Jason, and Jason was never alone. He was with a different woman each time. So he already upgraded. So now it's time for Project Upgrade. Savvy is going to upgrade. Not so much to win Jason back, but that if she ever gets... Here's my cat. If she ever gets into another romantic relationship again, which she will, she wants to look good. And therefore, Project Upgrade is in motion. Now, I love Savvy. And I loved this book. I'm so sorry about the cat. I love Savvy and I love this book. There were a lot of great factors in this book. Yes, there was a huge body positivity issue going on with Savvy because Jason made her feel that she was less than beautiful based on how she looked. But I'm going to tell you, because it is a romantic comedy, 
So I think when I say this, it's not going to be a spoiler. The guy that she thought was homeless wasn't. And the guy that she starts to fall for, his name is Spencer. Now you have to figure out that connection when you read the book. The thing that I loved about Spencer is every, almost every time he saw her, he told her how gorgeous she looked. You look gorgeous today. You're beautiful. I love that about Spencer. But even with him being the new love interest in her life, she still felt she needed an upgrade. She still worked out like she was, I love this book because she was really, really into tennis. And she tried yoga, although she did pass out the first yoga uh, um, practice she went to. But there's a lot in here about tennis. And then there's a lot in here about friends. So she's got her friends who are her champions who will fight into the death for her. But nonetheless, her her issue about her appearance is very concerning. So she works out. She plays a lot of tennis. She's very busy. Sorry, Tony sneezing. <laughs> um, she cuts her hair. She changes into contacts. She changes her diet, and that's really significant because she is a an exceptional cook, exceptional cook. The some of the food that she prepared during the course of this book, I thought, kind of feel like I want to go back and write those those meals down and to, and dig out recipes for those types of meals, and then to find balance in her life. And then while all this was going on, her work life came into play, but that's later in the book, so we won't talk about her work life. Now, um, like I said, this book was just, it was so good. I, I haven't written the review, and this is for a blog tour, so I do have to write a written review for it. But it was just a, it was just a really, really good book. Um, you know, I think women, you know, we need to love ourselves, but it a lot of that depends on who we have in our lives and with savvy having a long relationship with jason she took what he said as personally as any of us would if somebody that we loved treated us that way or made us feel less than beautiful so i loved this book i love the cover look at that gorgeous cover um and i loved spencer and what's more is I loved her friends. Like I just named one like Beth, for example. She had some great, great friends. Really, really good friends. And also I mentioned tennis. I love the the, the parts of the books about the book about tennis. I loved the parts of the books when she was cooking. I loved the renovation. She renovated her grandmother's kitchen. I loved her relationship with her uncle Joe. I mean, everything that I can say about this book is good. So this th this is like I said, savvy. Sheldon feels good as hell. Highly recommended. It's available. I will link it in the description below, and hopefully you'll get it and you'll enjoy it as much as I did. But that's it for now. Bye bye.